I think that's, you hit it exactly right, Stu. What have we learned so that we don't make a mistake again in the future when we have new technology that's effective? And what we've learned was this pretty phenomenal herbicide, like I said, very effective initially um, and widely adopted in agronomic crops quite, quite rapidly, but there was also messaging push that also encouraged folks to rely solely, and many times solely, on that product. And that shortened the lifespan of it and um, shortened it to the point where now, yeah, it's, it's, it's a shell of its former self. And we were able to, in some of our research, quantify just how quickly we lost that active ingredient as an effective herbicide. When we looked at data across North America over the last quarter of a century, the rate of loss of weed control, if you think of weed control going from zero, no control, to 100%, you kill the weed, the loss of that weed control was anywhere from 2 to 32% per decade. Right? So per decade. That's fairly quick. And it could be three decades and, we've, and it's gone. Right, for certain species. And, and actually, that, what we've quantified there are on populations that aren't deemed glyphosate resistant. Th these aren't even the ones that, that have known resistance mechanisms. These are, these are just the inherent, popula the, the inherent sensitivity that herbicides in our weeds have, have gradually adapted to where there's a lot more escapes. And I think most growers are probably aware of that. There's a lot more escapes uh, than what it used to be. But at the rate of loss of control, we don't want to repeat that mistake again in the future. Are you concerned that we are doing that or some of the chemistry that that's uh, being announced and being researched uh, well, before release at this point? Um, well, I think it's there, there's a famous quote there, those who don't remember the past are doomed to repeat it. And so uh, I, think, I think the glyphosate resistant crop technology is a great example to revisit and think about going forward. And um, because I sure hope we have some new tools coming out in the future. And there, it's, it's a little bit challenging finding new tools that are, that are quite as effective. So certainly hopeful that they have better longevity than, uh, than what we've got to experience with glyphosate. Because we, like I said, we had data throughout North America uh, from about 11 different universities, this large, large data set to be able to get, look back and say, well, how, how did this unfold? And um, yeah, so no, you, you hit it exactly. I mean, you opened it with, what have we learned? And that's, that's the key thing right there. Okay.